The U.S. Department of Energy announced $100 million of funding for pilot projects in carbon removal, specifically biomass and mineralization. So here's what that means. Leading up to this announcement, the Department of Energy was mostly focused on funding direct air capture through the billion dollar DAC hubs program. And worldwide, we saw United Nations Article 6 discussions really favoring what they called nature-based solutions over tech solutions. So there's this narrative that governments and policymakers were going to pick their favorites and fund those. So that put us on a pathway for a fractured market for carbon rural funding and carbon rural innovation. And that's a that's a world where we don't hit the innovation growth that's rapidly needed to hit 20, 30 targets and beyond. So what this announcement from the DOE really enables is for a much wider range of carbon removal methods to get funded for pilot projects. The bar is high. Not every company is going to qualify. And this doesn't fit every single methodology out there. But this puts us on the pathway for large scale carbon removal, testing out all methods of carbon removal and greenhouse gas removal. It's also an opportunity to level up measurement, reporting and verification, environmental justice and community benefits. And that's because pilot projects enable all that work to really take form. So measurement and reporting and verification, for example, currently is kind of academic. It's models. It's happening in spreadsheets. Now you have a pilot project to deploy. You actually have something to measure, report and verify. And that's a total game changer for hitting these 20, 30 targets and beyond. I want to acknowledge the work of Sebastian Manhart at Carbon Future and the group working on EU tech neutral policy, as well as every airminer that signed the letter that we sent to the UN with 153 people signed on saying, look, we want to play the reversing climate change game, set the bar for how much needs to be removed and let us figure out how to remove the carbon. So I want to see every airminer company checking out this opportunity for a pilot project. If it's a fit for you, you know, what support do you need? How can the community help you succeed in this application for the program? And if you're a funder, an investor, a philanthropist, how can you contribute to the commitment that the DOE is making in this push for tech neutral carbon removal? What does this announcement enable for you and your investments and your philanthropy? I want to hear it. Uh, and if you're an accredited investor, we have an upcoming demo day for batch 11 of Airminers Launchpad. Uh, you can sign up and get an invitation at airminers.com slash invest. Uh, and so that's the latest from the DOE. Uh, what this really enables is a future for all methods of carbon removal, and we can go all out on playing the reverse climate change game. If you are like, who is this guy? What is Air Miners? I want to let you know, Air Miners is a accelerator and community for everybody in the world working on reversing climate change. We have an accelerator program uh, where we've had 135 startup companies raise $100 million uh, in addition to selling thousands of tons of carbon removal credits. Of course, we have an incredible community. We have an event series. We have educational programs. So check out Ear Miners if, that's, uh, if it's new for you.